Also in Washington, our CBS News chief legal correspondent, Jan Crawford, and Bob Schieffer, chief Washington correspondent and host of Face the Nation. Good morning, all. Hello. Morning. Jan, let me start with you. Why Elena Kagan? Well, at the end of the day, she gave the White House everything that they wanted. She's progressive, even though some people say she may be moderate, but she is a progressive and she will be a leader on that court. She can build coalitions, bring consensus together, and she's 50 years old. So that, combined with the fact that she's not going to be a huge fight, is what tipped the balance to her at the end of the day. It's so interesting. No real paper trail, no judicial record to, to, to speak of. I, as, as I was culling through her information, it seemed to me she was almost as valued for her EQ as her IQ, her ability <laughs> to get along with other people. Well, she actually has both. I mean, I've known her for a long time. She was a professor of mine at the University of Chicago Law School, and she's very engaging, very challenging. Uh, she's quite dynamic in her personality, and you see that when she's arguing cases before the Supreme Court. The justices really like her. You should see Justice Scalia, obviously a conservative, mm -hmm. and Kagan going back and forth. So the White House sees that as a real plus, and they expect her to be a very effective jurist on that court. Isn't it ironic, though, that here's the President of the United States during his State of the Union address, specifically uh, uh, chastises the court for its decision on campaign uh, finance reform and allowing corporations to uh, put as much money in campaigns as, as, as they want. And the person who argued against that was Elena Kagan. Right. I mean, she defended that law, and you're going to hear that over and over and over in these hearings. As she defended that law. She was on the side of everyday Americans. The problem for her, though, and why this doesn't quite fit, is that she's not really an everyday American. She's Upper West Side, New York, Princeton, Harvard, Oxford. Uh, so, you know, she is part of that elite academic world. Uh, then Republicans this morning already are hammering her as a true, you know, Washington insider. Mm -hmm. Bob Schieffer, as this uh, bubbles up today and people really start to chime in, people talk about her being confirmable and she was just confirmed as Solicitor General 6131. What kind of fight do you think will ensue over the next couple of months? A really bitter and vicious one. Um, I would start by saying, uh, Harry, I think she is eminently uh, qualified, but we're in an election year, an especially toxic election year. Mm. Uh, just uh, this weekend, you saw the very conservative uh, Bob Bennett, uh, the senator from Utah, lose the Republican nomination because uh, members of the uh, to the right of the party, a lot of Tea Party people thought that he was not conservative enough. Mm. I think you will see some Republican senators, moderates, giving very careful consideration uh, to their uh, vote uh, on Elena Kagan. In a way, a uh, vote against her would be kind of Tea Party insurance uh, mm -hmm. to let people know that uh, they're moving to the right. The Republican Party is moving very far to the right. So I think this is going to be, she may be confirmed in the end, I think she probably will, mm -hmm. but this is going to be a very, very difficult election year right. uh, argument on Capitol Hill. Because there was another candidate who is viewed as being more centrist, as being uh, confirmable in the long run if, for instance, there is a, a loss of uh, Democratic uh, votes in the Senate in the future. The president clearly decided, I've, this is the card, my best card to play at this time. You think it's going to be rancorous, though? Uh, I think it will. I mean, you're talking about Merrick Garland. I right. think most people thought that he would have been the, he's an appeals court judge, thought that he would be the most easily confirmed. The president chose not to go that way. I think the second most easily confirmed was probably Kagan, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be a, a really drawn out and, and, and a tough fight. Republicans are going to give very careful consideration to whether they vote for her or not, just right. because, not because of her, right. but because of, of the situation in this election year. And as young as she is and being around for a long time. Bob Schieffer, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Jan Crawford, appreciate your expertise. Thank you. Thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.